हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज लेट ए इज इक्वल टू वे आई टीन समेशन आई फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी सो समेशन आई फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी ए आई बाय फाइव टू दी पार आई वे ए आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री और फोर देन ऑप्शन ए इज अ फाइनाइट सेट ऑप्शन बी इज काउंटेबली इन फाइनाइट ऑप्शन सी इज अनकाउंटेबल बट डज नॉट कंटेन एन ओपन इंटरवल एंड ऑप्शन डी ए कंटेन्स एन ओपन इंटरवल नाउ सिंस दिस इज द सेट देफोर ए कंटेन्स all real numbers in base 5 therefore a contains an open interval so option d is the correct answer the next question is Let p x be a polynomial of degree three with real coefficients. Then which of the following is possible? Option A: p x has no real roots. This is incorrect because an odd degree polynomial always has real roots since. complex or rather say imaginary roots exist in pairs so they have at least one real root option b px has exactly two real roots This is again incorrect because if it has two real roots, it will have one imaginary. Since and this is not possible, since complex roots exist in pairs. So option B is incorrect. Now checking for option D, i minus one and i plus one are the roots of p x, where i is the square root of minus one. Now i minus one and one plus i. Are not conjugates of each other. Do not misread this as one plus i and one minus i. So by elimination, option C is the correct answer. The next question is. Let a n and b n be two sequences of real numbers such that the series summation a n squared and summation b n squared converge. Then the series summation a n b n is. Now, let u n is equal to maximum of mod a n, comma b n. Then summation u n squared less than equal to summation a n squared plus b n squared, which is less than equal to summation a n squared plus summation b n squared. And since this is finite, and this is also finite since both are convergent, so this is less than infinity. Therefore. Summation u n squared is convergent. Now, summation a n b n is less than equal to summation u n squared, since u n is equal to maximum of mod a n and mod b n, which is less than infinity. Therefore. Summation a n b n is absolutely convergent. 
So option A is the correct answer.